Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Yesterday, DxO Software updated the 25th edition of the Nick Collection. Now, those of you that aren't familiar, 25 years ago, Nick Software released a collection of plugins for Lightroom and Photoshop called the Nick Collection. Over the years, they were purchased by Google, and Google almost let it die on the vine, and then DxO Software uh, purchased it from Google a couple of years ago and they've revived it. Now this 25th edition of the software doesn't really contain any new plugins or any new dramatic features. It does have some new uh, presets or as they call them recipes for Color Effects Pro 4 and Silver Effects Pro 2. In this video, I'm going to show you those no, new uh, presets or if you prefer recipes. Now, um, those of you not familiar, uh, initially uh, when Nick Software released this product, it was uh, just a plugin. You had to use it as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop. It now works as a standalone product. It also still works as a plugin in Lightroom and Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and Photolab 4 by DxO. So if you have any of those applications, you could use it as a plugin. I'm going to use it as a Photoshop plugin only because I'm going to be jumping between multiple images and jumping between Color Effects Pro 4 and Silver Effects Pro 2, and it's just easier in Photoshop. Now we're going to start out with a portrait, and we're going to send this image to Color Effects Pro 4. So I'm going to go up to Filter, and then down to the Nick Collection, and then down to Color Effects Pro 4. Now we'll take this image, uh, send it over to Color Effects Pro 4, and it will add whatever filters I happen to use last to it. Uh, you could see that there's not much done here. But what I want to show you are these new recipes or presets that are in Color Effects Pro 4 in this edition. Also, I should add that if you purchased um, the Nick collection after June of this year, this is a free upgrade. Uh, if you didn't, then uh, there is a reduced upgrade uh, price for it. And if you don't own the Nick Collection, uh, you could purchase it at full price, of course. In the description below this video, I'll have links to it. They also have fully working free trials for everything. And I have a discount code. So if you are purchasing it, make sure you use my discount code and you'll save yourself a few dollars. Now, I mentioned these new recipes. They're easy to find. If you go over on the left-hand side in the Filter Library Recipes section, you'll see down here 25th anniversary, and you can see there's 15 new recipes. Now, they have ones that are specific for portraiture, and that's why I have this portrait here, and I'll just go through them really uh, very quickly. This is one they're calling Classic Portrait High Key Bright. This is Classic Portrait Hint of Color. This is Classic Portrait Smooth Skin. This is Classic Portrait Soft Matte. And the final portrait image or portrait recipe is Classic Portrait Warm Glow. So those are uh, five new recipes for portraiture. And um, I kind of like that one maybe just because it's different. So we'll click OK and we'll let that save. Uh, to it. And you can see over in the left-hand corner when you're in Photoshop, it will then process uh, the image with those filters I used and it puts it on its own layer. So it's non-destructive. I didn't have to remember to create a new layer in Photoshop before I sent the image over to be processed in Color Effects Pro 4. Now we're going to stay with Color Effects Pro 4 and I'm going to jump to another image and I'm going to show you the few recipes that are for a landscape image. So we'll go to Filter, Nick Collection, Color Effects Pro 4. So I'll go through all these new 25th anniversary recipes that are for um, the uh, different images for Color Effects Pro 4. And then I'll jump over to Silver Effects Pro 2 and I'll show you those recipes there. So uh, we did these portrait ones. So I'll go past the portrait ones and then you can see there's one called Light and Bright Cafe Mocha Monochrome. There's one called Light and Bright Fade Away. These are dramatic, I, I, I have to say. This is Light and Bright Heavenly Blue and Light and Bright Pink Lemonade. And then Light and Bright 
sunshine morning. Now I can't say that I like any of these, but just for the sake of argument, let's just pick one. We'll pick that one and we'll click OK. Of course, these will look dramatically different on different types of images you use them on. So, you know, what they may look horrible on this image, but maybe one of those will look good on a different image. Uh, so we'll let it do its thing. You can see it's processing in the lower left hand corner here. Again, it's going to add its own layer uh, so that it's non-destructive. You don't have to worry about it ruining your original image that you loaded into Photoshop in this case. And of course, same thing goes when you're in Lightroom uh, or if you're in um, DxO Photo Lab 4 or Photoshop Elements for that matter. So this one's taking a little longer, must be a little more uh, processing intensive, but there it is. And there's the before and there's the after. Now I mentioned I didn't like that one. But we'll jump to this tiger image because I mentioned um, there's different um, recipes for different types of images and they have some new 25th anniversary recipes for wildlife. So we'll go to filter and I'll go down to the Nick collection and I'll go to Color Effects Pro 4. And again, it's going to open it up into Color Effects Pro 4 and it's going to apply the last uh, set of filters, or in this case, a recipe that I used. So we'll just ignore that. And you probably noticed as I click on these recipes, it totally replaces the previous filters or previous recipe if you used a recipe. It will totally replace it with the new one so you don't have to worry about that. All right, now here's Wildlife Cool Evening. There's Wildlife Fur Details. There's Wildlife On the Dark Side. There's Wildlife Soft and Dreamy. And there's Wildlife Sunny Day. Now, I kind of like fur details. And then you could do a before, after. Just click on this compare button. There's before, after, before, after, before, after. You also could have a split preview where you have this little uh, bar you can move back and forth. Or you just have a split screen view if you prefer. Go back to that single view. We'll stay with this. And we'll click OK. So those are all the new 25th anniversary recipes that are in Color Effects Pro 4. Now let's talk about the new recipes that are in Silver Effects Pro 2. And for that, we're going to jump back to uh, this portrait of Courtney. I'm going to throw out the layer that we did with Color Effects Pro 4. And we're back to our original background layer now. And I'll go to Filter and I'll go to the Nick Collection. And I'll go to Silver Effects Pro 2. And this works pretty much the same way as Color Effects Pro 4. It's going to load the image in. It's going to load the last set of adjustments I did, whatever they may be. And you can see they're there. But over here, if you look, uh, there's a category for the 25th anniversary uh, presets, they call them here. And we'll click on it. Well, there's 10 presets and there's um, five portrait presets and there's five street photography presets. So we'll go here to classic portrait. There's, uh, I'm sorry, that's classic portrait, angelic and faded. This is classic portrait cool tones. This is classic portrait Hollywood glamor. This is classic portrait rugged. And this is classic portrait warm and soft. Um, I can't say that I like any of these personally, but you know, it's all subjective. We'll just stay with that one for now and we'll click OK. And again, it will add its own layer so it's non-destructive to your original layer. You don't have to worry about that. So we're good to go there. Now we're going to jump over to the street photography image I have and we're going to send this one over to Silver Effects Pro uh, 2 and look at those um, street presets that it has. So we'll send it over there. Now it's going to add the last set of uh, filters which happened to be in a preset that I did. So you can see that. Um, so we'll scroll down. We're still in that 25th anniversary category. And we have now Street Dramatic. We have Street Gritty. We have Street High Contrast. We have Street Hint of Blue. And we have Street Old Vintage. So we have all those. Um, I kind of, did I like Gritty? I don't know. I think... Uh, I didn't like that one. I, let's go with Gritty and we'll click OK. So those are the new uh, recipes that are in Color Effects Pro 4 and presets that are in Silver Effects Pro 2. In this, the 25th of 
edition of the Nick Collection. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have links uh, to the Nick Collection. I also have a discount code. If you do purchase it, definitely use the discount code. You'll save some money. Also, uh, what do you guys want me to do uh, going forward with the Nick Collections? What, what type of videos do you want me to do? What do you want me to demonstrate? Do you want me to show it standalone or as a plugin in a specific application? I no longer own Photoshop Elements, so I can't use it or can't show you how to use it as a plugin in Photoshop Elements. But as you saw, I have Photoshop, of course I have Lightroom, and I have DxO Photo Lab 4. So I could demonstrate uh, anything you'd like as a plugin in any of those three applications. And of course I could demonstrate some standalone features of the product. Just let me know in the comments below. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.